Hello everyone, it's Mr. Fox coming to you from Digifox Labs. Today we're going to be talking about a new project we have just discovered on the Elrond blockchain. That's right, the old infamous Elrond blockchain. Now, none of this is financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Everything said here is 100% our opinion as well as uh, serving as a documentary for us navigating this blockchain space as well as any investment space such as stock markets, real estate, uh, just uh, NFTs, artwork and things of that nature. So let's get right into the project. The project that we are going on about is called Holo Ride. Now, it has just been released as far as CoinGecko is concerned. Uh, what is it exactly? Well, we are highly bullish on it because it is actually catering to something that some of us may have actually been curious about. So what are they doing? Well, they are turning vehicles into moving theme parks. That's right. So we have essentially the Oculus goggles or the VR goggles that you put on and you are turning your vehicle ride into an adventure really. Now, we are not saying that you go ahead and you put on your VR or XR goggles while you drive. No, no, no. This will be for individuals in the back seat. So your children, your passengers, maybe even a pet if it's willing to go ahead and partake in this without vomiting. So let's go ahead and go into this website by holoride.com. So what is it exactly? Well, we can see here that they have an advertisement and we will play a little bit of this. And essentially what they're saying is they spend a lot of time on the go meaning we do. Let's make it count. We believe that every journey should be enjoyed. Like a trip to the theme park, Holoride gives you a fun and connected experience with every ride. Holoride takes everyday journeys and transforms them into hyper immersive experiences by combining navigational and car data with the XR. So what does that mean exactly? Specifically the navigation and car data. So everyone has their phone on the person really, right? So usually you have it connected to Google or the Apple uh, tracking devices of some sort. So why not use that data to trans transfer into a game, right? And so they're using navigational as well as car data to create this XR experience for fun really okay so let's go ahead and play this little video which could explain a little bit what they are trying to achieve Now, first and foremost, that logo looks absolutely wicked, does it not? And the commercial pretty much described everything with minimal to no words. So why are we bullish on this? Well, this is definitely going to cater to children, 
and teenagers and anyone that's bored on road trips this can actually revolutionize boring road trips so if you're going from the uk to say france or if you're going from france to germany and you have a road trip let's say across europe or even the united states which can have areas of bore well think about it you're not going to have that anymore you can play a game your children can sit there and play a game and uh it, it just keeps the, the the trip going it's revolutionizing the whole thought process of an adventure so let's go ahead and go further down uh adding to adding thrill to every ride xr enriched by driving physics and wow i just messed that up now didn't i let's go ahead and go back in there let's go ahead and all right until now immersive experiences have been mostly visual but holoride includes the real-time physical feedback of the vehicle you're in making your experience even more intense so you really start to feel what you see with holoride reality becoming part of the game elastic content its experiences are the new ones with holoride every ride is new adventure and the xr content is never the same Hollow Rides Elastic Content adapts to the route, length, and type, driving styles, and location for experiences tailored to your journey. So essentially, everything is going to be a little bit different depending on the driving style of the driver, as well as the location, as well as the length of the drive, and the type of drive. So if you have winding roads, it may very well end up being quite the adventurous roller coaster, right? If you have a flat piece of a uh, freeway or highway it's going to be probably something of the nature of like a spaceship right uh that's just that's just us uh, spitting ideas here at digifox labs uh more euphoria less nausea people often can't enjoy transit time because watching a movie already makes them feel uncomfortable by matching what you see and what you feel with almost no latency holoride is able to reduce motion sickness being in transit becomes time more spent so some of us here at digifox labs actually has experience in the uh, medical field and uh just to let you know that sometimes individuals have an astigmatism and there is a bit of latency with the horizon in car rides or individuals focus on the lines on the roads in transit therefore affecting their astigmatism therefore creating some sort of vertigo which causes motion sickness now that's not everyone but it is a select few individuals that have motion sickness in vehicles if you put these xr goggles on and you're focusing on a different horizon you're focusing on a different equilibrium because these goggles go over your face you very well may not have motion sickness or car sickness while you're transiting so that is something to keep in mind now as far as uh that being medical advice the full disclaimer we used to be in the medical field we are no longer anymore we don't hold any physician licenses or anything of that nature but it is something that you could go ahead and research in later on in your own free time so let's go ahead and scroll down further into the website and we can see here announcing ride we're supercharging the holoride ecosystem with a powerful and engaging tool that is essentially helping us to create vibrant environments with a variety of incentives for both partners and passengers read more in the full article about how we're feeling our ecosystem with the ride token so the ride token is what they are using to tokenize this protocol as we can see here you see individuals here with the holo ride goggles uh turning back seats into entertainment spaces and that is key turning back seats again you will not be driving while having these goggles on your face okay so this was actually indicated by the verge a perfectly synchronized journey through virtual worlds so this essentially can be the holoverse now i want you to focus on this picture right here yes fantastic dinosaurs about to meet their end with apocalypse doom but no what you're looking at is this vehicle right here the e-tron audi right here in front of you as well as if you look closely you'll see the california plates so essentially they have the fingers dipped into the american market as well as the audi market which means that there was some form of partnership or agreement amongst not just the audi area but as well as the america area as well so now you could really see that they are 100 percent involved in some sort of western part of the world such as germany and the americas so scrolling further down we can see here creativity and imagination builds realities the creator space gives access to the holoroid elastic sdk and powerful tool set that empowers the holoroid experience and helps build breathtaking elastic content made for moving vehicles so right here you can see here that you can start creating if you are interested in creating a world go ahead and click this link below uh which we will also provide in the link in the description below on this channel so let's go ahead and if you're curious to join the team they also are offering jobs most of which will be located in munich germany 
So let's go ahead and scroll further down into the experience. What is Holoride? Well, we pretty much just gave you a uh, commercial sponsored by Holoride, which they did a damn good job of. And then you can see here Holoride in action. These are the actual uh, things that they were involved with and partnerships that they were involved with. So Disney and Audi. Why Disney? Well, if you look right here on this side of this vehicle, you see Marvel. Marvel is owned by Disney. And this vehicle here is Audi. So Rocket's Rescue Run was our first public Holoride demo, which we showcased at at CES 2019. So this has been in operation and having a working product since 2019 on the famous Speed Vegas racetrack. Again, we indicated that they probably had ties to Americas. It's an action-packed deep space VR experience based on the Marvel character Rocket Raccoon, known from Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, if you want to learn more, you could go ahead and do that there. Discovery Channel and Porsche. So if you don't know, Porsche and Audi have some kind of, um, uh, definitely a partnership, but I think they're under the same umbrella with a uh, Volkswagen group. Um, uh, uh, go ahead and correct us if we're wrong on that one. They debuted their very first implementation of the, of the edument, uh, edu edutainment at the IAA Mobility 2019 in Frankfurt in collaboration with Porsche and the Discovery Channel. It is also how we chose to showcase the use of 2D content within a virtual environment. So that's quite interesting. Uh, also, Universal Studios and Ford, uh, they teamed up with the Universal Pictures and Ford to plunge riders into the mysterious world of Bride of Frankenstein. At Universal City Walk in the heart of Hollywood, riders accompanied the bride on a journey to deliver a message to Frankenstein himself. So that's actually quite interesting and has an interesting storyline to it. So as you can see here, they actually have working products and have had working products since 2019 and we are currently in 2022 full swing at, at that with the blockchain network uh, sorry blockchain networks so we can see here hollow rides in in car vr solutions is the best thing at ces 2019 according to TechCrunch. elastic content a whole new media experience uh scrolling down here they have three aspects that make the contact content sorry elastic motion sync traffic aware and location aware so motion sync is essentially in moving so you've got driving routes and style and the developers can't assume the motion will be derived from the content traffic aware traffic around the vehicles play a vital role stop and go traffic and downtown traffic jams during rush hour will result in a different experience than driving at night so they have different scenarios and different uh, things based off of the driver day based off of the time of day as well as the type of uh road that you are on and it's all doing that with navigation and safety data location aware the road and world around the vehicle will define the environment that the passenger experiences in VR. So I would assume, right, I would assume that in order to start this, you would have to plug everything in, right, turn it on, uh, as you would with most things, right? Turn it on and then indicate where you are. So you would have like a geo tracking on yourself and then you would hit start, at which point you would also need to I guess like do like uh, was GPS and tell this device where you're going so that it knows the time it has to give you this game essentially right so if you're going from here to the markets right and it's like a 20 minute drive according to like google maps right you're gonna have uh, a 20 minute game time and i feel that's how they roughly sync with one another to make it work uh, again uh, i'm a little bit interested in this tech uh, just out of uh, uh, just uh, out of uh, curiosity um, so please comment below if you are a holoroid developer uh, let's go ahead and go further down layering the world around you that's pretty much self-explanatory three layers explained they have the world layer which is probably the most advanced and promised prominent aspect of the elastic content 2d layer it hosts 2d content it can be part of a bigger elastic experience or the main stage for the stunning 2d stories you want to tell and the vehicle layer is a combination of several layers that serve to ensure user safety while also giving creative space for customization and there's met much much more you could go so you have the education aspect the entertainment aspect the productivity aspect the mindfulness aspect so this is definitely a project that is not really done before really uh, I, I mean yeah you could go to universal studios disney parks and all that stuff right but at the end of the day you have to pay a ticket to get access to this this is actually bringing it to your front door so you could essentially hypothetically saying you could order your goggles download the apps and bring the theme park to your vehicle and have access to it. Now, here's something that's interesting, right? What if, 
What if, and this is like speaking down the road, that <clears throat> go ahead and contact this Hala right um, if you're interested in this idea, right? <laughs> what if you had like one of those one eyeball things, like a glass eye, and you could walk around or have something incorporated with like for uh, running or like people that want to get in athletics, right? Get in shape. Something like that. It could be called Holo Runner or Holo Walker. I don't know. We're just, <laughs> we're just bantering now. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at partners. So, why are they doing this? And they are giving you numbers here. 400 billion hours or how long people spend in cars every year. That's a lot. 1.2 trillion euros is estimated total value of this spent in cars with 40 million trips are made daily with the four biggest ride hailing, excuse us, hailing companies. So monetizing travel time. That's that's probably what you're here watching this channel about, right? Is monetization. How can you make money off of this? Well, let's go ahead and get a little bit into that, right? So content creators and media component uh, companies, right? New creative opportunities, break new ground with Holoroid's revolutionary elastic content format. Uh, easy to use tool set and additional revenue. Boost your commercial success by reaching a captive audience via the powerful automotive distribution channel. So if you're a creator, obviously you can make some kind of income with this. You can create the land, you can create advertisements, you can do all kinds of stuff. Literally, it is your oyster. So go ahead, car manufacturers and mobility providers. Uh, what, if, what if you had an Uber with these in it? That would be sick. Now, I highly recommend if you are going to use this business model, which I think I just may have uh, hinted on a partnership with Polaroid and Uber. I'm not saying that's what it is, but you may want to, uh, those of you listening to this at Polaroid, go ahead and tap Uber. You know, have it like, I don't know, give a discount to the uh, people working, right? So let's go ahead and uh, let's scroll further down. XR platforms and technology companies. That's another thing. And these are the co-pilots, Porsche, RD, and Shell Games, uh, which is a uh, service education and entertainment game development company in the United States. So want to know more? Go ahead. And uh, again, we'll provide a link in the description below. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, start creating things you wish existed. So we can see here that this is how roughly it works. You have the goggles, you have the vehicle localization, you have the elastic SDK, which is the content creators, and you have the passenger. And then you go ahead and they rate it. So you get trophies and all kinds of experiences in the game. It also provides you security and transparency. And then there you go. That's how the uh, blockchain technology works in the Holoride ecosystem. Scrolling further down, uh, there's infinite possibilities with the creator tools now they do provide you with creator tools and they have sample files available if you're interested to so go ahead and contact them and they have specific links to go ahead and do that uh you could ride recordings so these recordings are travel data collected so they actually uh, are telling you that they are recording data at which point in order to use this i'm assuming you're going to need to go ahead and give up some location data obviously for the games to happen. So if you want to get started with them, you can start building and you click on this link right here and uh, you can go ahead and uh, start doing that and get ahead of the game essentially, right? Because this is new and they have, uh, let's see, create your holoverse. Now you create your own space. We'll go ahead and watch a little bit of this. Let me pause it right there. Let me pause it right here. Holoroid and Unity. Unity. Big, big company, big, big company, especially in the gaming verse. Just want to point that out. They also, I believe, have a, a place on the stock market. I don't know the, sh the share price right now, but they definitely have a massive market cap. We are very excited to have you join the Holoright world and to help to get you up and running. We've developed the Holoright Creator Space. The Creator Space offers you all tools needed to empower you on your Holoright development journey. Tools like the Elastic SDK, documentations, tutorials, and more. Some of these I want to share with you in detail today. Barrett just gave you a walkthrough of the Elastic SDK to create elastic environments, but also shared that it's an interface to the vehicle's motion data. In this illustration, you can see them both combined. The environment in magenta and the vehicle in cyan. To get you started, we offer sample files which contain prefabs for the environment and the vehicle. We also include a transition system that shows how to transit from one experience to another. If you combine them all, you actually end with full whole ride experience, from the click on the app icon to being in an elastic world. Of course, you can use them as a general inspiration, 
but they are also built in a modular manner, so you can customize the nested assets that get spawned, the animations, the colors, and more to your liking. In the end, these sample files help you to focus on staying creative, even if what you want to create doesn't need an entire elastic world, like integrate a video player, 2D gaming, or browsing the web. Something else that we also provide on the creator space are experience tools. Experience tools are small helpers that we've created throughout our development process. There's the 2D stage. This is a plan that helps you to integrate any 2D content into a whole right application. So we're not going to play the whole thing for you. If you're interested in it, we're going to provide a link in the description below. Uh, this is just pretty much telling you how easy it is to create your own Holoroid adventure, really. And they give you all the tools necessary to do so. So again, there is room for individuals to make money and transition to blockchain technology with Holoroid. And I could promise you, not only are they looking for jobs, but they are looking for individuals to create worlds uh, to expand the ecosystem. Okay. They are again indicating that they are changing in car experiences forever. Here is roughly the tools that they uh, offer right here. And you can see right here that uh, this is how they go about doing so. We'll play a little bit of this one as well. And this is the Elastic SDK right here. We've been working hard for this moment, which is why I'm very happy to demonstrate to you today what Elastic content means from a developer's point of view. Generally speaking, you can think of it as a creative reinterpretation of real world maps and geo information that is projected into the Unity scene. During the game, the Unity camera is controlled by both the VR headset and the car's sensors. To make this work anywhere on Earth, elastic content is procedural from scratch. This sounds difficult, right? In fact, it's not, with the help of our powerful tools. The Elastic SDK helps you create stunning worlds with ease and place your game content within them. The heart of it is a node graph, which defines how objects are placed and what the terrain looks like. So again, this is roughly around a five minute video. If you're interested in developing, we'll go ahead and provide a link in the description below. And so we have here development kits, and this is all for individuals. This whole page right here is for individuals that want to create on the Holoroid website, or sorry, the Holoroid ecosystem. So let's get right into the economics, shall we? So working at Holoroid, they give you some decent benefits, actually some really good benefits, and uh, you get to be part of a revolutionary uh, project, really, right? Flexibility, individuality, internationality, growth, uh, who knows, maybe someone here at Digifox Labs will want to apply. So um, that's interesting. That's very, become a hollow rider. Be curious about our company. So if you're interested in uh, working for this company, here you go. We'll provide a link in the description below for this as well. And you can click right here to see what positions are available. So let's go ahead and go into the token. So according to CoinGecko, the price currently is trading at $2.01. Circulating supply is unknown according to CoinGecko, but total supply is 1 billion tokens. The fully diluted uh, valuation is 2 billion with a 24 hour trading volume of 5 million tokens. We can see here that it is quite new uh, trading on CoinGecko anyway for the past two weeks. So let's go ahead and go to the 30 day and we can see here roughly around the mid of December, it was roughly around one dollar 25 to one dollar 50 and went ahead and took a step up and has been in capitulation for most part of the past three weeks uh, roughly around this price that we are currently at all-time high was roughly around two dollars and fifty cents so right now if you were to get involved with it it is 19 percent off from the all-time lows it is up 73 percent so where can you get this token well luckily if you have been watching our videos for the past month or so, you can see that we are bullish on EGLD, that is Elrond blockchain. And we did provide links in the description in our every single video with if you're interested in getting the wallet, go ahead and do so. So the only place you can get it is the Maya Dex exchange. So what exactly is that? It is the decentralized exchange on the Elrond blockchain. So let's go ahead and go there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. So if you're interested in creating, uh, or sorry, if you're interested in getting involved with this token, you go to CoinGecko 
And this is assuming you have the Elrond desktop wallet, which is going to be right here, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So the website is going to be uh, HTTPS wallet.elrond.com, which point you go to, and it says here, you create a wallet or you have access to an existing wallet. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that now. So give us one second here. Right, we are currently in our Elrond wallet on the desktop. Uh, we're going to go back to CoinGecko. So you have that up, you have the Mayor. So right here on markets, you're going to click on EGLD ride. So click on it and it's going to hyperlink you to the Mayor exchange. And uh, then you're going to connect your wallets, which we are currently already connected as you see here. And so what do you do? Well, you're going to convert your EGLD like this to the right token and right now on the dex there are only four tokens available on the dex it's egld the mex which is the native token for the exchange usdc and the right token at which point then you go ahead and hit, hit the amount so if you have one egld which we do not but you have one egld then you're going to go ahead and you're going to get with the uh conversion rate 122 ride at this time of recording so go ahead and do that. That's how you get access to it. We are bullish and we did take a position in the ride token. We also have a position in EGLD and I've had a position in EGLD. And uh, are we bullish on this? Absolutely. This is going to be something that we will be holding for some time as we are bullish on the Elrond blockchain. And there are currently only a few tokens available on the DEX. So where do we see this going? Well, considering the fully diluted valuation is 2 billion, we honestly see this doing roughly around a twenty uh, twenty dollar region, maybe maybe like ten to twenty dollars for this token in the future. We don't have the circulating supply, nor do we have the market cap. It is new, so just give it time. And uh, obviously, they're going to have to get on different exchanges, which I could promise you that is coming. But if you want to get ahead of the herd. You might as well get some right now and just dollar cost average in if it takes a dip. So with that said, happy days, happy trading, and good luck to you all.